Hey, it's Friday evening. I've got some uh, great uh, beer and I thought I'd try to record a little video of a language learning workflow. Um, I'm learning Greek currently. I've learned a lot of languages previously um, and I was reading some tweets about another user learning French and I thought it would be fun to try out an idea that I've had for a while and also create a shareable template as an outcome. So. I've not done any preparation. I thought I'd just think through this problem together with you. Um, maybe that's helpful. So <clears throat> um, my idea is around Greek. Um, so I've, I've experimented with some, some tags um, that generate, um, so I've done two things. One is, is dialogues. Um, so I've said things because I've been using Duolingo, which is great, but it doesn't ha in Greek, it doesn't have stories. So let's say I've been learning about professions and then I've just told AI, um, write me a dialogue in Greek, uh, between a lawyer and a policeman. Um, yeah, that's really it. Uh, ask AI. And so. Uh, of course, I could, you know, provide a much longer prompt. I could say I'm a language learner, this, that, you know, I could ask it to translate each sentence, to only use easy words. Um, but even this super, super simple prompt will actually give me something that's not bad. Um, and then, of course, if you're sitting in chat GPT, it's fun to um, say, you know, make the policeman mad, um, make the lawyer, uh, you know, do something. And, and so it's it can be quite an engaging way of working with text. So that's one way it takes a while to see. The longer texts it writes, it basically, the longer it takes. Um, so that's one way I've been using it. Um, but another way, if we just put this down here, is, there we go, Diki Goras, that's the lawyer, Yasu Axiomatike Tiboro Nakano Yasena. So what can I do to you? What can I do for you? Astinomikos Yasu Diki Gore Echo Mia Hypothesi I have a problem and I need your help, I think. Tikigoros pesmu ti simvene ketado ti boronakano. Anyway, um, so yeah, see, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm reading this thing. Um, it is definitely when you're learning a new language, finding texts that are appropriate about a topic that um, maybe is, is relevant to you, where you have already some vocabulary. It's actually not easy at all. And I am really looking forward to specialized tools um, that, you know, build on this, make really good prompts, maybe generate illustrations, um, know which words I know and which I don't, you know, integrate with um, uh, spaced repetition and everything. So that's not what I want to do today. What I want to do today is let's say we had a tag called Greek word. Actually, I already have one and I'll show you that tag. Um, so I have example sentences, I have etymology, I have Greek translation. So basically I put in an English word, I have antonym, I just came up with that one, and synonym. Um, and here I just put in some words, you know, I get some example sentences of how it can be used. Um, I get the etymology. Now, of course, we can't trust this 100%, especially not the etymology, um, but it's pretty good, I would say, from someone who's not an expert in Greek, but this still makes a lot of sense. And all these synonyms are actually super interesting um, uh, because I can kind of guess what they mean. And of course, I could, um, so, you know, I could, I could run a, a text on this anyway. So this is all good. Um, my idea was, what if I can get the AI to generate questions for me where I can do a kind of spaced repetition, although Tana doesn't support we don't have an algorithm for spaced repetition, but we can do random repetition, which is still much better than no repetition. Um, and I thought I'd actually try try that out in the in the playground. Um, if you want to try things out, of course, we have the prompt workbench, um, but the playground's really helpful. Uh, it's probably better than ChatGPT for trying things out. And so we want to go in here to the chat. And then, <clears throat> so my thought was, uh, let's choose one of these words. Let's choose, um, and these are kind of, let's get a new one. Let's, for example, um, polite. So let's zoom into that and let's run all empty AI fields and we'll get some Yevgenis. Yeah. 
Um, here we see that this probably doesn't have a good prompt um, because it's basically just the title and uh, and uh, and uh, description. And so if I edited this and, and gave it a proper prompt, it would probably give me better. And here we have some example sentences. So given this word, um, what I'm thinking is uh, given, so uh, context, I am a learner of, learner of Greek task, um, generate five example sentences um, using the word Evgenis, I'm just trying this out now. Um, so there's a few different things we could do here. We could do translation. So uh, five example sentences using simple Greek words. Uh, they should all contain the word Eugenis. Um, so that's the task. And then the key thing is the output example. And here we're going to use Tana paste to get it to actually output a structure. So we say, so are we, so let's say we want both. Um, well, let's start with this. So let's start with English output example. Uh, he, he is a, what did I say? Polite. He is a, he is such a sweet and polite boy. And we're going to call this uh, Greek question. And then we're going to do a translation. And then actually, I don't know. So I'm going to just translate this. Perfect, but good enough for the example. Translation, yeah. So my idea is if I put this in, because I'll just show you what happens. If I put this into Tana, let's go down here. Uh, with, of course, the, okay. Um, somewhere to write. Okay, here. Um, we need to put Tana first if we're pasting it. That happens automatically if you come from GPT. And now if I paste it, you see that we get the Greek question, we get the translation and all that stuff. So that's cool because when I see this again, it's going to be collapsed. So the idea is to use this expansion as a kind of um, a space repetition question, right? And so that's one format. So let's just see if it can do that. And now, output example. Let's see if it can do this. Let's try. Oops. Yeah. It's good, except it doesn't have two colons, which we need. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to say, um, uh, make sure to set to put two colons after translation. So the funny thing about Tana and GPT is that there's kind of two different forms of. Let's see if it. No, now it didn't get it at all. No. Ah, prompts. Okay, make sure after. Okay, let's try. Um, the output should be as follows. First line, the English version, followed by the tag Greek question. Second line indented. Translation, two colons and Greek translation. Let's try this. Um, what I was trying to say is there's, first of all, there's the prompt engineering that I'm doing right now, which is to, yeah, again, that was totally not right. Um, 
I think maybe I need to do two examples. Let's try that. Um, the, the polite man entered the building. Again, I need to translate this. And then we're going to do a great question. Translation. Um, yeah, I think we're onto something. This looks perfect. Um, yeah, so what I was trying... <laughs> awesome. So what I'm, I'm trying to tell you here, I'm sorry, we're kind of skipping back and forth, is that this kind of prompt engineering, which is a bit annoying, um, is what we're doing against API, like with a specific example, like you, Evgeny, which I'm using here, um, we're trying to see how we can get it to output what we want. Um, and that kind of prompt engineering, you know, you can feel free to do it here in the playground or in any other tool that you're com comfortable with. And once you have a prompt that works, the second step is to make it generic. Um, and so replacing Evgeny with maybe a, a reference to a field um, or, you know, sometimes you want this context, you want like a bunch of information that wants to be summarized and stuff. And you want to make sure that it's actually picking out the right parts from Tana. And for that, the prompt workbench is really good because you can uh, kind of preview um, how the prompt looks applied to different nodes. Um, so I kind of wanted to mention that. Also here, we actually have temperature zero, seven which could be actually not a bad idea for something that's very generative. We can try with zero just for fun and see if that makes any difference at all. Uh, these all seem good as well. So maybe we'll just keep it at zero to maybe that's better. Okay, so this is good. So we have one example. Well, I, well I, my idea was that we're gonna have a few different kinds of questions. So this is one example, let me just, let me put this up again and I'll just say, um, okay, let me remove this. So prompts, English to Greek. And then um, Greek to English, let's just, that should be easy. Uh, first line, the Greek version, say Greek version. Uh, in Greek and here we're going to split it so that basically we we'll have to translate from English to Greek which is much harder as we know and then let's just flip this that looks Good, and let's try that and see if it's able to do it. That looks awesome, I think. Uh, I got the tag wrong, but yeah, this seems like it just works, so that's good. I'm curious about this second one. I'm, let's see, that should be there. Okay, so we got our second prompt. And the last one is fill in the blanks. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but let's see. So, hmm. Generate five example sentences. They should, okay. Uh, let me just try. Uh, in every sentence, they should all contain the word Evgenis. Uh, however, when you output the sentences, replace the word Evgenis. This this um, keyboard shortcut thing is amazing, by the way. With example output, and then we can use this one. Um, word missing Delete that. 
let's try this. Just giving it one example. No, one example is not good enough. So let's do that. I mean, we kind of got the idea, but the format wasn't correct. So let's borrow this one because that was a good output. You see how there is some uh, playing around with this, but the idea is that once you set it up, um, you'll be able to just keep using it and hopefully, this looks correct. Um, yep, that is perfect. That is perfect. Okay, I think we have our third prompt. Now, one thing I'm curious about actually is that at the end, I'm going to try to make this general for all languages. And what I don't know is whether these example sentences in Greek are going to bias it. So we'll see about that. Actually, we can try that right now. So if this was German, I'm a learner of German, German five simple using simple German words, they should all contain the word, I don't know, Join um, Knabe. However, when you have to, let's see. Is it now gonna output German words in this format, or is it gonna output Greek words? It's German, but it's uh, yeah, it's not perfect. But let's really change this one. It's, it's, I mean, this is such a dark art, says honestly. It's, uh, nope, okay. Anyway, let's let's focus on the Greek part. So, we have three prompts here that have all been tested. Now, we want to apply these to this. So, let's see. We have, no, we don't have a Greek question, we have applied, right. So we have example sentences, that's fine, but we want to add two fields. So we're going to add, or three fields actually. So um, English to Greek, I'm going to click this to add the field to the super tag, Greek to English, and this, and um, fill in the blank. Okay, and now I need my prompt. So let's see, we're going to make an AI enhance field. This was English to Greek, custom prompt, boom. But of course, what we want, so let's just do this first and we'll look at the prompt workbench afterwards. So that was the first one. Actually, I'm gonna change the title as well just to make it consistent. So the first one, the second one, and the third one. And now I'm going to open the prompt workbench. And the reason I'm doing it from here rather than clicking that button is if I do it in the context of a node, I'm automatically going to get that node as an example node. Do you see how polite just jumped in there? I could have just put it there. So it's not a big deal, but I thought I wanted to show you that. And the cool thing here um, is actually we don't want any of these to be references. So we'll just bring them here, um, but we don't want, let's see, actually all of this. So this is where we'll do the Greek translation. And we'll probably have to fix that one too. So it's a Greek translation. Is that right? And then We'll 
have to tweak the Greek translation because we don't want only a Greek translation of name, only the Greek name, no English. Okay, so let's try this. Yeah, that's much better. So that works. And then here, uh, generate, okay. Eugenius. Yes, let's rerun this one now. Yeah, much better. And now let's try this one. This one should work well because we also have Evgenis, like the, the polite in our example. So this looks good. Let's let's try it here to see. So this is this one. So let's see that we get the Tana face working properly. Now, one thing to note here is that this depends on the field um, Greek translation. And we can actually, if we want, put up a dependency. But this looks amazing. This looks fantastic. This is what I wanted, right? Isn't that cool when it kind of comes together? Um, very cool. Okay, let me quickly do the other ones. So it should. Be, so I need to bring all the references here. That's a really useful command to know. And then all we really need to do is... Wait, did I already fix this? This is Greek to English. Oh, I think this is the one I haven't fixed. Uh, did I fix all of them? Oh, I copied the same thing into these two. That was not intended. Let's see. English to I'm simple Greek words. So this is English to Greek. That's correct. And Greek to English is this one. Okay, I think I kind of messed up here a little bit. So let me just see. This is English to Greek, that's fine. This is Greek to English. Should I do this part? I don't know what I'm up to. Let's try this. Okay, that looks fine. And then again here, again is we have to replace with, what do we call it? Greek translation. And here I kind of deleted all of these, which is, there's definitely things we can do about copying plain text that um, could make that easier. But yeah, okay, cool. And then the last one is here. And that's filling in the blanks. I think I know what I'm doing wrong. Is that? Oh, that's correct. Okay, bring the reference node here. And again, we want Greek translation. Replace the word Greek translation. Okay. Oh, I see what I'm doing here. on actually
Okay, that was harder than it should have been. Rerun that to make sure I didn't mess anything up. Fill in the blank does not look correct. Those two look great. This one does not. Let's see what's going on here. Example output, word missing. Again, is helping out with some issues. Yeah, it looks good. Why? That looks good. Except it doesn't have the tag. Probably because I didn't put the tag here, and so of course it's hard to. And that looks good. Let's try it again. Oh. <laughs> of course, this thing doesn't have the substitution, so we have to be consistent if we want GPT to be consistent. Okay, I bet this time, maybe. So remember, we can also go here and we can see. Um, that looks good. Hmm. Oops. It's not what I wanted. Hang on. Let's see. So this is what. Um, This is what it's sending. That looks correct. There's, and this seems to be what we're getting back. It's not indenting, it doesn't have. Why was it working before? What am I doing wrong here? Let's try to describe the format here. Uh, the first line. All right, uh, sentence in Greek with the word replaced by. And add the tag Greek question on the second line. Double colon and then the word Greek question. Greek question. Greek is not Greek question, it's Greek. So thank you. We get the warning right away that we're using the wrong field. It's Greek translation. There we go. Okay, let's retest.
that is looking like something. So it's funny because usually it's very good at reading examples, but it looks like in this case, um, actually explaining the format um, helps. Uh, notice that I could have used GPT-4 here. Uh, I have access to that. It might have been better at following instructions, but it's also more expensive and slower. And so if I can get this working with GPT-3.5, that's better. So yeah. No, because... Oh, you know what? I think Tana paste translate this to something. So instead, let's do... Um, So something very obvious. Or let's do something like this. That shouldn't be interpreted as something. As you see, it's not supposed to be easy, uh, but you know, for Greek learners all around the world, come on, give me a break. Yeah, that's very good. I think this will probably be very difficult for me in practice. So I'm not sure about this question format, but you know, uh, using simple that make it obvious that they contain the word. Okay, let's see. So all the name and the rest of the sentence should make it obvious that the missing word could okay. the rest of the sentence should make it obvious that the missing word could only be Greek translation okay Good. I think we have a setup that is good enough. So, you know, we're generating a huge amount of stuff per word here. So to test this, let me, I'm going to delete this one. So let's say word list. And one, one trick we can do is we can set default tag for children, Greek, um, Greek word. And now if I go down here, you see that my ch uh, all the children automatically get this tag. So let's get some words. Uh, polite, let's do that. Polite, kind, evil. Um, let's do adjectives. Ad evil, um, helpful, dumb, smart, beautiful, beautiful, handsome, um, fast, rich, poor. Now these are all, I don't even know all of these words, to be honest. Poor, uh, tall, short. Okay. Let's view this as a table. And we have a few more fields. Okay, and the thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the Greek translation first because we need that for all of these. And it also gives us the chance to help the AI a bit because as you can see, I told it what to do, but it's not always following instructions. And rather than doing more prompt engineering right now, we can just do this. And now we can fill in the rest because some of them depend on this. So we can, as is empty. Oh, select children, fill, as is empty, 
run all empty AI fields. Uh, oh, <laughs> in my prompt, I obviously have a missing bracket, and that's probably in this one because it's, um, let's see, Greek translation, Greek translation here. So I'm going to redo that field. So let's do that again. So we got four here for some reason. We got five here. We're now doing fill in the blank. And yeah, it's it's working. Ah, it looks like did it not? It looks like it didn't run the command on all these other ones, so let's just do that manually. Yeah, yeah we're getting a rate request. We're making, actually, so what's happening here is we're making a single request to OpenAI for every single cell. And obviously that um, can become a lot. So uh, it does retry, though. So generally we'll get the answer after a little bit. And so I guess I should try to learn. Yeah. So we see here we have 90,000 tokens per minute, which is quite a bit. But as you can see, we can easily use it up when we're running so many requests in parallel. But it does have retry logic. So eventually these will all come in. And I should learn these. You, Evgenius, okay. Stilikos, I knew that. Kako, I knew that. What's this? Chrysimos, I did not know that. There's a word to use, which, uh, so that's a way of remembering that. Dan Ilithios, didn't know that. It's almost like sun. Exipnos, smart, knew that. Uh, Oraios, beautiful, I knew that. Kalo, Kalogiros, handsome, I don't know that. Two words, Kalos, yeah, I know that one. And get on hold. So this is actually really helpful because I do know both of these words and that's going to help me remember this. Noble older man. Huh. Who knew? Grigoros. Okay. I knew that. Plusius. Plutos. Plusius. Huh. Phtochos. I did not know that. Poor. Philos. Psilos. Yeah. And epistrophe, epistrophe, I've never heard, come back, short. Huh. The Greek word epistrophe. I think this is not the right word. What is the translation of this? The return of the book. Oh, what? I think I'm going to delete this because this seems to have gotten wrong. Of course, I didn't give it any context when I wrote this word. Um, I could have done that. Okay, fine. We could spend all day on this. But what I do have now is all this stuff. And already having this in the table is cool. But the thing I really wanted to do, and we're going to test this out now, is... What if I added this to my day tag and um, so I have a day tag that I can configure and I can configure and I can say Greek questions. Now, of course, I don't have to put this on my day tag. I could also just, you know, pop it in whenever I want it, but I'm going to have Greek questions. I'm going to make it an instance of Greek question, of course. This is why I wanted to tag all those. And this is the really cool thing. I can auto initialize to random. Let's get 10 random nodes each day. Okay. And now let's go to tomorrow. Hmm. 
what do I actually we just we just changed the logic of this. Okay. So next day. Oh look at this. Oh look at this. Oh look at this. How cool is this? This is really cool. I'm so sorry, but this is really cool. <laughs> Um, because I just have 10 random questions and I'm going to try these. Um, okay. She had a bad experience at the restaurant. Um, Auti, Ehi, Ehi, Itan. No, that's, what's the past tense of, eh, eh. okay, whatever. Ehi, Ena, Kako, experience. Um, Biria, something. Uh, Stin, oh, just, oh. See, the problem is I've been reading a lot. I'm, I've not been writing or talking at all. So this is actually... I, uh, oh. I know this word. But see, this is useful. I'm learning right now. Okay, let's check. Ehe, Ehe, I'm, I'm, my pronunciation, but Ehe, Miyakaki, Emperia. Hey, I wasn't off. That was the right word. Sto estiatorio. Yeah, right. Okay, so... This is really fun because I'm going to just, yeah, fine. And it's going to pop up in a few days and I'm going to nail it. Uh, and again, like there's no algorithm here. It's just random, but that's honestly okay. Okay. The helpful driver showed me the right way. Okay. Guide. Odigos. I think that also means to conduct, but fine. Sure. That's not bad. Um, the English, yeah, I mean, the, the easiest for me is to understand. Translate in, honestly. Um, Auti, always. Tota, tota, milae, me. No. Mila, pada, pada, always. Me uh, ipio ke evgeniko tono. Okay. O ilithios, I think that was a stupid guy. Ilithios, den bore na kata no se tin axia tin ekpedesis. The stupid man could not understand the, the explanation. Oh, the value, axia is value of ekpedesis, is it again? Okay. So anyway, I'm going to stop the video there. Um, this was an experiment. I had not tried it before I started recording. It's probably become quite a long video. I'm not sure if you're still watching. Um, but I thought that it might be useful to just capture me thinking aloud as I'm going through this. Um, and you see that there is a fair amount of, of um, prompt engineering uh, and experimentation involved. But honestly, I'm extremely happy with the result. This is genuinely useful to me. Um, I'm going to be trying this. I'm going to be doing this every single day. I have no doubt that it will be really helpful to me. And yeah, I'm going to distribute this as a a tag, uh, as a template. But honestly... Uh, it seems to me that the um, language of the examples matter. So originally I was going to make the language Greek or German, as you saw, a um, configurable setting. But I think I'll just leave it like this. Uh, if there's any other Greek learners out there, that'll be useful. If not, this is a template to build upon and it should be quite easy for you to, to change it into French or whatever. So that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, cheers.